Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here, we're gonna cover question 31 of the math proficiency test. It's a test for teachers in Ontario that they now have to take in order to get certified. Without further ado, let's tackle the question. We have a video game that has 15 levels. Brom has completed six levels of that video game. What percentage of the levels has Brom completed? Now, I encourage you to pause the video to try this problem by yourself. Given that you've done the other questions, uh, we've covered percentages and fractions and all those things, ratios. So you should have a pretty good idea of how to do this problem. So that said, you can pause and try it. And I'll assume that you did that. So let's get to it. The first step to solving any problem in math is to know the theory behind the stuff we need to know. If you're not comfortable with fractions or percentages, I encourage you to click the link in the description below. It's a video by Khan Academy and you can probably see a little card appear in the top right corner of this video. And really what we have here is, let's say we have something, um, let's say two over three, then this is two thirds, right? And then when we divide those, that's really two divided by three, that's the same thing. And when we do the math, we get 0 0.6 repeating. So 6, 6 repeating. So the, the 6 just keeps repeating. So that's a decimal. And if you put that in a percentage, you could write that's something like 66.66 or 67 when you round percent. In other words, that's 67 over 100 approximately. Okay, so that, that's just the theory behind what we're doing. And this level, this problem is not too hard, so I won't make this video too long as well. We have that Brahm has completed six level out of 15 levels. So what we have is six out of 15. And we can just convert that to a percentage. And just intuitively, six out of 15. Half of 15 is 7.5. So we know it's close to 15, right? Uh, to 50%. So we're between those two options and we know it's not the small fractions. Is it above half or under half? Well, it's under half. So we know right away it's this one. So the answer is 40. So we can do that right now, but we could do the math. We can, there's a couple ways we could do this. We could simplify this fraction. So if I divide by three on top, divide by three on the bottom, I get two over five. Now two over five is, you, you can easily convert it to a fraction over a hundred. You can do times 20 times 20, times 20 times 20 on top. And we're allowed to do this multiplication because 20 divided by 20 is just one and eight times one is equal to eight. So when we do 20 times 20, we get 40 over 100, which is 40%. Alternatively, so that's method number one. And then method number two, we could, and that's the method I would recommend here is we just do six divided by 15, that's 0 0.4. And that is obviously 40% because you multiply it by 100. It's 0 0.4, that's 40 percent, that's per 100, right? Percent, the, in French, per cent, cent means 100. So that's why it's 40 per 100. So we have 40 percent, which confirms our intuition. And we can even build our intuition further. So if we color in the levels, that's level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you see that it's uh, below the halfway mark and if so I divided this bar oops excuse me I divided this bar into 15 levels right so that would be out of 15 and I also divided an equal size bar into 10 pieces so now 40 percent that's four bars and we can see that those two things so in other words six out of 15 is equal to 40 out of 100 or 4 over 10. That's the same thing. Thanks for watching. And again, if you made it this far, it probably means you're supporting the channel. And the best way to do so 
is to like this video, comment on it, comment your questions, comment what you've liked, leave some feedback, and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Do the work.